This is Vicki. I'm coming to you from Upper Room Ministries, giving you another daily dose. This, cool. I already got it before I gave the message. <laughs> um, this is so powerful. Nothing that is happening to you right now is a surprise to God. Nothing. Nothing's taking him by surprise. He has a plan for everything. There was one time that I was worried about this, that, and the other. Um, and he said, look down. I looked down. In my mind's eye, in my imagination, I could see a large paver that I was standing on and where there was no worry about being unstable. And he said, and what's after that? Uh, another paver. And what's after that? Another one. Another one. Another one. Until I couldn't see anymore. This is, he was using my imagination, you see. And he said, you see, I've planned for everything. All you have to do is step on the paver. Let us come into agreement right now in the mighty name of Jesus. <sighs> that he has planned for everything. As you step on that paver, you're building trust. After you build trust and you see his faithfulness, then that will build confidence. And as you build confidence, you'll trust more. And these are spiritual exercises, you see. And so I'm reminding you of what the Lord told me one time. He said, were I to stop thinking of you, even for a moment, you would cease to exist. Write that in your knowing place journal. Write that nothing takes him by surprise. When he showed up to 5,000 and he only had a few fish, few loaves, what did he do? The miracle of multiplicity. What happened after he fed the 5,000? There's a significant part of that story. There were crumbs left. He said, pick up what's remaining. Why did he do that? Because he wanted to re reinforce in scripture he gives more than enough. Now look at this beautiful changing uh, bush behind me. In scripture it says, God numbers the stars and orders the seasons, gives them their boundaries. There's a plan in place for everything. Again, nothing, nothing is a surprise. Nothing's been missed. Step on the paver today and do what love requires. Move at the pace of peace. Why? So you can hear him better. Do you know, somebody's watching this channel and you know who you are. They actually shared Move at the Pace of Peace with a priest. That priest is now sharing it with his community. Do you see this? That's called a seed. And as a result of the seed, there's fruit. And what's inside the seed? More divine planning. More seeds. Fruits and seeds. Seeds and fruits. Right that. In your knowing place journal do you know what i'll let you in on a secret i'm creating are you ready a knowing place journal yes i am i'm creating one for you because i really get it that sometimes we forget what god has done in the past that he's going to continue to do such as provision <sighs> provision count it today Trust it. Step on the paver. Building the confidence. Once you have confidence, trust some more. See the spiritual muscle. Cooperating with grace. For grace cooperates with you. You see that. And remember, the Lord told me one time, there is more grace than there is air. Hallelujah. Like that. I'm such an amateur at this stuff. Um, in terms of using my phone camera. But you know what? It doesn't matter. When the Lord told me to first start making these recordings, I said, Lord, but I don't know how to do like editing. He goes, I didn't ask you to edit. I just asked you to make videos. Well, what about music? I see people who are really professional and they use music. He said, didn't ask about the music. I just asked you to make videos. So here I am just being obedient. And look, I'm just astounded, astounded. And the changes people are making all over the world as a result of listening to a daily dose. Medicine for your soul. Breath that gives you life. Let me know how this blesses you. 
And just as a little spiritual exercise, let me know what words you captured and you're going to put into place. Phrases that you captured and you're going to put into place in your Knowing Place journal to create the lifestyle of living on the breath of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Get ready, Phoenix. I leave tomorrow. And the Lord told me, he said there's going to be an outpouring of the Spirit like none I've seen before. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So exciting. I don't know what to do with myself with this good news. God bless all of you.